Hi honeys, it's Michelle Eskelin. In today's video, I am going to be doing one of my favorite things. I'm going to be unboxing a Stitch Fix. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be unboxing a Stitch Fix box for you. And I think that these are going to just get more popular now. I really do. Now that I'm hearing that dressing rooms are closed everywhere, I really don't want to go to the mall now. <laughs> so for me, this is probably going to be how I get most of my clothes. And then when I get to try them on, if I like them, I can get more colors or different sizes from their website and not have to deal with the stress of going out. <laughs> I have no idea what's in here. I did not cheat. I didn't open the box yet and I also did not look on their website to see what was sent. I like the element of surprise. So here's my box. Um, this is my 13th box with Stitch Fix and I see here that I have my regular stylist back. Hi Lauren, I'm excited that you're back. This says, Happy Fix Day Michelle. Lauren here again. How's it going? Hope you're staying safe and healthy during this challenging time. For today's fix, I see it's really starting to heat up in Vegas. Hello, 90s. So, I've selected your pieces according, accordingly today. For starters, I know most of the skirt options that I've sent your way to date haven't quite worked out for you. So instead, I've included a fun black skirt option by Tribal for you to check out. This will look adorable paired with the Paper Moon split neck top for a fun summer option. Thoughts? Would you like to see more skort options down the line? On the, on the other hand, I know you liked the ruched side in the last knit top that was sent your way, but you wanted something more suiting for the hot weather. So thoughts on the black rainbow curves top. Anything special for next time? XX Lauren. Okay. So here's what the box looks like when I first open it. All right, let's get started. The first item I see here is this. It says Paper Moon, it's a top. It's a pretty color. And I love this detail up here. Okay, so this is the Paper Moon Janae Smocked Knit Top in blush in a 1X and it's $38. Next is this. This is the Paper Moon Trucker Split Neck Top in white in a 1X, and it's $34. Love this pattern, it's so pretty. Then we have this V-neck black top. This is the Rainbow Curves Danza ruched side knit top in black and a 1X and it's $38. Oh, the side ruching is over here. <laughs> I'm looking at it thinking, I, I don't see any side ruching. But here it is on this side. And then it's also adjustable. So this is cute though, right? Okay. And I do see this one says made in China. I should probably tell you that too on all these. Let's see. This one says, let's see. Okay. 
This one is 95% rayon and 5% spandex, and it's made in the USA. And then this one is 96% rayon, 4% spandex, also made in the USA. And then this black top is 57% cotton, 38% polyester, and 5% spandex. It's nice and thick. Okay. Get my hair out of my face a little bit. Sorry. A little warm in here. I have to turn off the AC so you can hear me talk, but then it gets hot. Okay, this looks like a dress. Um, it looks like it's got like an empire cut waist on it. And then it's a wrap across the bust. But it is a faux wrap. And then it's got some elastic here right under the bust. And then... See, it looks like it's a long dress, and I don't see any slits on it or anything. So if you're worried about modesty, you don't have to worry about it with this. It's got some really cute detail here at the top of the shoulder. A little bit of crocheted action. And then it's got this, oh, I'm trying to go with this called, this ruffled edging on the arms. So it looks nice and loose on the arms. So this is the Tory Knit Maxi Dress in Love Appella in black and 1X, and it's $78. Um, I don't usually spend more than... I try to stay under 100 with dresses, so this is a fair price, I think. This is 95% rayon and 5% spandex. And does it say where it's made? I don't know if this one does. Let's see. I don't know where this one is made, but it's very pretty though. And then the last item is the skirt, which is super cute. And this one, I immediately see it's made in Canada. Isn't that cute though? I like this tailored look. How it's got the seams. It looks like it's got a seam at the front of each hip. And then it's got pockets and it's got the little penny pocket here too. awfully cute. So this is the Tribal Remington Slit Pocket Skort in black in the 16 and it's $54. And it does have a little, it's sewn closed, but it's got a little slit on the back. That's about three inches maybe. I'm going to put a link down in the description box that tells you my referral code. If you decide to use that link and you sign up for Stitch Fix, uh, you get a $25 credit to your account and I do as well. Um, no pressure, just letting you know. Also, Thank you so much to my friend Anna. Her page name is Only In My Dreams and she went ahead and signed up for Stitch Fix uh, last month and used my referral code. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. Not only does it let me know that you guys are enjoying my videos, but it also makes it a little bit easier for me to keep a few more items than I might normally if I want to. Okay, the total value of this box is $242. If I were to buy everything in the box, I would get a discount of 25%, which is $60.50.
That will bring the subtotal down to 181.50. And then the styling fee, I forgot to mention this. If you do get stitch fix, the styling fee that you pay is subtracted from anything that you keep. So you don't have to keep anything, but they don't refund you that $20 at the end of each month. Um, but what you do keep, they take the $20 off. So then minus the $20 um, styling fee, it would be $161.50 to keep the whole box. So I'll just show that to you up close so you can take a look at it if you want. This is the Love Apelia Tory Knit Maxi Dress in a 1X. Yay! What do you think? I love this. It does not have pockets. Um, this is not an empire waist though. It's sitting right at my natural waist and it does have the elastic on it. It's got the faux wrap here, but I like this one because usually if I wear a faux wrap, um, where it crosses is too low on me. I, I guess it's because I have a shorter torso. <laughs> so this is nice because it hits right where I want it to. I don't have to put have to put a pin here or sew it closed or anything. And it's got plenty of room on the sleeves, which not only is nice if you're like me and you have much larger arms, but it's nice because of the breathability factor. It's just a nice cool dress to wear. It does. It feels very um, breathable. <laughs> but I do. I really love this pattern. I feel very feminine in it and pretty. And this is one of those dresses as I am able to actually go to the gym again. <laughs> Uh, and get in better shape and lose more weight, I think this will still look good. Now then I might have to sew this. But otherwise, I think that this would look good if I went down another size. This is the Paper Moon Trucker Split Neck Knit Top in white. I think this is so pretty. I love how it's got this little pleat right. I love how it's got this little pleat right here. It gives me more room for my bosom. I love the cut right here on the arms. It hides my little, what is this called? You know, this little excess boob up here that we get. <laughs> it hides that a little bit more, I think. This is also nice and cool. And it's got little pleats right here on each shoulder blade. And then on the bottom, I have the Tribal Remington Slit Pocket Skort. So let's go ahead and show this to you here. It's got the pockets on it. They're a decent size. My hands go about two thirds of the way in and it's a nice stretchy fabric. And then over on this side, it's got a pocket and then it's got the little penny pocket up here. That's always good for lip gloss. It does have a slip back here. I didn't undo the um, this, the sewing that they have on it to keep it closed, just in case I don't keep it. But this, it does have a little three inch slit on it. And then here's what the skirt part looks like underneath. So it's kind of like bike shorts, really. It's just a little bit more of a, um, this is not cotton. It feels like maybe polyester. It's nice and breathable though. So this is a nice way especially if you're plus size and your legs rub together when you walk, 
This is a nice way to be able to wear a skirt in the summer. If you get a skirt, then you don't have to worry about any chafing or heat rashes on your inner thighs. This is the Paper Moon Janae Smocked Knit Top and Blush. <coughs> Excuse me. So it doesn't have that same detail of the smocking on the back. It's just on the front. So I want to get nice and close so you can see the detail here. This is the Rainbow Curves Danza Ruched Side Knit Top. So it's got the ruching here, and then you can tighten it more if you want, or loosen it more if you want. But I am a big fan of the look of this, and I like that it's adjustable. I like that this top is a little more form-fitting, it, it hugs my curves. And now these are my shorts, so that's why I'm not really saying anything about them. This does fit my arms nicely. It's just a perfect fit. It's not loose. It's not tight. And then it's got kind of a curved v-neck here, which I tend to find more flattering to my face. So with this box, I'm trying to think here. Um, as far as what my favorites are, I like this top. I like the skirt or skirt, and I like the dress. I'm not as big of a fan of the other two tops. I do really like this. I'm not sure. I'm kind of on the fence about it though. Tell me what you think. I'm not a fan of this top though at all. I felt like it was too loose on me to where it added more weight to me in my midsection, which I'm not really looking for. <laughs> I felt like it looked like a maternity top, which would be really cute as a maternity top, but not really as a um, fat girl who doesn't want to be asked when she's due top, you know? <laughs> Um, and then uh, this color, I think it's so pretty, but I don't think it's pretty on me. I don't know. Is it just me? I'm not sure about the way it looks on me. So I need your help. Let me know, please. <laughs> I don't know what to keep. I don't know what to send back. I don't know if I should just keep the whole box. I mean, I'm. am I wrong about this shirt? I don't know. Let me know what you think. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great rest of your day. I love you, bye.